Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Fan and welcome to Halloween week. Every day before Halloween, I will be reviewing a TV episode that's about monsters, werewolves, ghosts, or something else related to Halloween. And today's episode review will be on the Pokemon episode, The Tower of Terror. So the episode begins with A.S., Misty and Brock on their way to the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. But while on their way there, Ash Ketchum scares the shit out of Misty, Brock and his Pikachu with his Halloween mask. But Misty, Brock and Pikachu are not happy about that at all. In fact, Ash's Pikachu does use Thunderbolt on A.S. And I will admit, I find it very fucking funny how Misty, Brock and Pikachu reacted to that. Meanwhile, in the Pokemon Tower, Jesse, James and Meowth are waiting for us and his friends. Now, I'm going to tell you what I think of Ghastly Hunter and Gengar, and they are the characters this episode focuses on. I think they are fucking awesome characters. They're ghosts who just want to have fun scaring the shit out of people. And that's exactly what they did. And I liked that a lot. Now regarding Jesse, James and Meowth, usually I'm annoyed by those three and don't find them funny in the slightest. But I am glad to say that this is one of the very few episodes where I actually laugh at Jesse, James and Meowth. And I really have the ghastly to thank for that. So basically James walks into a trap and gets knocked out the moment he reaches the floor. That isn't particularly funny, but what happens after that is what's really funny. So basically the ghastly appears and disappears under Jesse. And the ghastly also scares the shit out of Meowth. I really found it funny how Meowth was screaming. And the ghastly also managed to make Meowth use slash on Jesse when it was trying to hit the ghastly. That was so fucking funny as well. And I also laughed at how Jesse reacted to that. So Jesse knocks Meowth into the floor. But when Jessie looks in her mirror, the ghastly scares the shit out of her as well. So Jessie gets knocked down as well. And I also find it funny later in the episode when Ash orders his Pokemon to attack Jessie, James and Meowth, thinking that those three are ghosts. But anyway, Ash, Misty and Brock finally go into the tower. Now at first it seems spooky. And they aren't really scared the moment they get into the tower. But the comedy doesn't stop there though. What follows is another scene that made me laugh so much. It's when Brock finds Kandur and wants the Charmander to lift the Kandur. So the Charmander uses flamethrower on the Kandur while Brock is holding it. But then Brock screams, Lift the Kandur, not me. And that makes me laugh so fucking much. But anyway, as Misty and Brock go to a room where there is a lot of food for them. But then something extremely scary happens. The food, dishes, knives, forks and whatever else on the table starts floating around the fucking room. And that scene was very fucking scary. Though it's really the only scene in the entire episode that's more scary than funny. Not that it is a bad thing, I really enjoy laughing at funny scenes. But anyway, after that, ask Misty and Brock leave the tower. But Science ass really fucking wants ghost type Pokemon so he can beat Sabrina he goes back to the tower. Now, this wouldn't be a Pokemon episode without Ash doing something incredibly stupid. So he does just that. When he goes back to the tower and challenges the hunter for a battle, he should have asked his Charmander to use a move like Flamethrower. But nope. Instead of asking his Charmander to use Flamethrower, Ash asks Charmander to use the move Leer. Why would he use a weak ass move like that? And when the hunter laughs, Ash said, you are not supposed to make the hunter laugh. 
Well, if that's the case, then why the fuck did you order your Charmander to use Lear in the first place? That's just stupid. But enough ranting. It's time to move on to talk about what happens next. So, sometime later, fucking lights fall on AS. And AS dies. That's right. He actually fucking dies in this episode. Wow, that's fucking dark. This is something that happens extremely few times in the Pokemon anime. Yeah, sure, Arsa's death is only temporarily in this episode, but it doesn't change the fact that it's very fucking dark to see a main character die. So Ash becomes a ghost, and he learns to have fun with Ghastly Hunter and Gengar. And then there is another fucking funny scene. Wow, this episode is full of them. AS lifts Misty and throws her back on the ground. And that scares the shit out of Misty. And I will admit that made me laugh so much. But anyway, AS really fucking enjoys flying. Ghastly Hunter and Gengar show AS their toy room. AS realizes that the reason Ghastly Hunter and Gengar are causing trouble and scaring the shit out of people is because they're lonely and just want someone to play with. Was it really necessary to give a reason as to why those ghosts acted that way? The fact that they are ghosts should be enough of a reason for their attitudes. But whatever, it's not a big issue anyway. As tells them that he can't play with them because he has a goal of becoming a Pokemon master. Ghastly Hunter and Gengar understand that and somehow manage to make Ash's spirit go back to his body. I don't know how the hell Ash got back to life, but whatever. Anyway, Ash, Misty and Brock then leave the tower for real this time. But Hunter decides that he wants to take along. So Hunter goes with Ash on his journey. And that's where this episode ends. What do I think of this episode? It's fucking awesome! Now despite the fact that the title of this episode is Tower of Terror, it really is more funny than it is scary, which isn't a bad thing. I really had a lot of fun with this episode because of how funny it is. And seeing us die is something that happens very rarely in the Pokemon anime. This is definitely one of the best episodes of the original Pokemon series. And I highly fucking recommend this fucking awesome episode, and for that I'm going to give this episode two thumbs up. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching and have a great day.